be love, love, love. Wherever you go, there'll be love. One new alternator fitted, up and running, generating lots of juice for our lights so we can get back on to trying to fix the ones that don't work. Good. It all, all this exterior light project took five days on and off to do. Um, that doesn't even count the time that we used to put it in the new alternator. Um, so that's why we have a part one and a part two exterior light video. But here's a look back at when we finally finished this project. Yay. <laughs> You find me precariously balanced on top of the Cortez um, and this is because I'm addressing these these are our front clearance lights um, and both the front ones are uh, massively corroded this has actually got the remains of one of the bulbs stuck in it so we're going to clip them off clean them up and um, refit them with new bulb holders and um, the reason because of that is because we want to maintain as much of the exterior originality of the vehicle as possible which of these? These guys are super cute. And one aspect we really liked about the Cortez, they were all glass instead of <laughs> modern, modern plastic. plastic. <laughs> so, snip, snip. Let's take that off as far as we can, leaving as much wire left as possible. Whew. And now we can address fixing these. We've been working on the lights again and have gotten some great results. My um, uncle stepped in, my cousin stepped in a lot to help and I'm so excited about what we've accomplished. Yep, so we've now got front uh, working front indicators, which is awesome. The reason why the passenger one wasn't working was because somebody <laughs> cut the wires at some stage, who knows. Um, however, in the process we did uh, blow a fuse, so we need to replace that, but that's <laughs> no big deal. Uh, and now we're going to move on to the other lights at the back of the vehicle. Yep, have tons of new little light bulbs. Um, have also more inside of the Cortez. Yeah, maybe you should hold them. Well, I was going to help you because like... Oh, okay, I, I thought I, you didn't trust me. I thought they'd be heavy, but, but they're only light. Okay. Uh, okay, so we're going to investigate the problems. Ow! <laughs> the problems Sorry. in the back. And we will get started on that. Ding! More professional, you said, right? Yeah. No ding. Let's move on. So we've just had a Good look around the rear lights and figured out a few things the reason why the driver's side reverse light wasn't working was because the wires weren't connected <laughs> the reason why the passenger light passenger reverse light doesn't work mm. is gbc <laughs> um we cannot figure out why it's not working at all there's no power to it uh, there is power to it but the earth's not working and it just will not work at all mm -hmm. so we're going to cheat i think yes but now absolutely we're, we're going to run a live wire from the driver's side to the passenger side somehow <laughs> you'll see how successful that is surely um and then we're going to hook it up to the passenger side put everything back together fingers crossed fixed yep and the reason that we're cheating too we should say is we do plan to redo all of the electrical but right now we just don't have the time to do no. that we want to actually be able to get it to a state where we can um you know get other things fixed like the window and um just a lot of other work so we're just going to kind of take this short route and when we do the full electrical we will have do a it lot more information yep but let's get started you ready yeah let's do it i'm dreading this I know you don't like electronics though. Mm -mm, at all. But I trust in you, so we'll get started. <laughs> You're crazy. Feeling a little defeated. <laughs> Again. 
It's just the lights. I'm so... <laughs> I just... I'm tired of... I just want to do it all and have like one big project but it's hard when you're working and when you have a dog and you need to let it out and you have other responsibilities in life when you have to be adults yeah it's rough right <laughs> but it's just hard because we can't ever actually get anything accomplished so what's our share our negative news so we've got one of the reverse lights working we've got both rear lights and brake lights working and indicators working we can't get one of the reverse lights to work at all. <laughs> We've tried routing another wire around the vehicle to, to connect it to the other light that works, but we can't get it through. There's just enough, there's just too much wiring and... Mess. Mess. <laughs> there, just to get it through. So we've got to come up with a bit more of a plan. I've got a feeling it's going to involve starting to tear a bit of the back out. I think it's going to involve tearing the bit of the back out to make sure that we just do it, do it properly, yeah. just and get it done. If, even if we rip the back out now, it doesn't matter. Like, I know. It's, it's a start on a bigger project, so... It's, it's just, just, it's just more time to rip the back out to get this one wire. We just need one wire. I know. And so <laughs> we're going to rip the back out to get this one wire. Hope that it fixes it. Yeah. Fingers crossed, right? <laughs> and then we can go through the rest of our process to get the Everything window done, done and the state inspection. I mean, I'm not, I'm not defeated about the Cortez. I still love the Cortez and we've had a lot of success with it so far. Yeah. I just think we're dealing with, I used the same thing with any old or classic vehicle. You, you deal with other people's fixes. That's what aggravates me is like, if it were factory, I'd be okay. Yeah. There's, there's clearly a, the wiring in here has clearly been messed with at some point by someone. The fact that two of the, the bulbs were just cut completely out. Right. Um, it, it's just one of them things that happen when you buy an old vehicle. You occasionally find issues that, that haven't been fixed properly. And I'll hold my hands up and say I haven't fixed some issues properly before on my old vehicles either. But it, it just makes it more of a pain for when someone's trying to go through and fix things properly at the end. So yeah. we'll get there. We've just got... It's just another day where we've not achieved everything we wanted to. But... I we've, mean, it's okay in the end. Yeah, we've found another five jobs that we need to do. <laughs> but it's what's to be expected. So, yeah. we'll so, move on. Yeah, and it's getting darker out here. So peaceful and nice at the farm. Like, yeah. I love hearing the crickets and cows. The cows. Yeah. So, anyways, we're going to go home. We're going to eat. We haven't had anything to eat all day. Well, actually, I lied. We had a dessert. Like, we had dessert for, for everything. <laughs> a tiny little, like cobbler that my mom had in a mason jar we had that but yeah so we're gonna pack up and we're gonna go home and it's gonna be another day of who knows what maybe wearing our masks to <laughs> yeah pull yeah. things out yeah we'll see yeah we'll see <laughs> so until then bye bye just a quick video to say we are in the cortez and <laughs> it's completely dark out thank goodness we have lights in the front but what did you discover, Ann? So our rear lights no longer work. <laughs> Even though they did just work inside the garage. None of the dash lights work. Even though they worked inside the garage. The brake lights don't work either. And the clearance lights on the roof don't work. So, <laughs> we have a lot more than one light left. So we are going to drive away. Let's drive away, please. You ready? Let's drive. to solve our light issue um last time we were out here of course we thought we had <laughs> practically everything working but then when we turned the car on to leave and left the garage all of our rear lights were gone um we figured out that hopefully <laughs> our problem comes from this a bad fuse um i don't know how well you can see it but basically the metal inside this it should be touching and so it's not which means that it what blue blue um we just got back from the auto parts store Bought these. Yay! New fuses. So now what are we going to do? So we're just going to check through the fuses um, that are underneath the dash. Um, go through, replace any that have blown and 
looking a bit old and faulty. Rear run lights. So this will be the one that's gone, if any. Yeah, he's blue. So he's dead. Okay. So there's definitely an issue with the running lights somewhere. Uh, it's probably a, a bad earth. So we need to check them out. So we're good. Let's go to the garage and have a look. just had a look at our um, wiring diagram for the Clark Cortez um, a lot of the lights do uh, ground themselves against the chassis um, but I think what we're going to do as a first course of action is to just go around in every ground that we can find we're going to clean up check the wiring um, and just make sure that everything's as it should be there's a lot of grounds like uh, here on the water pump and on the gasoline heater and uh, the horns that we don't actually need to check so we're just going to try and stick to the light system we'll check everything because it's only going to help long term uh, and we'll go from there what you find is at the back of the bus trying to fix his rear lights um, so far we've managed to tear out a lot of old stuff that I think is probably from uh, someone doing some towing at some stage, but half of it was disconnected anyway, so we've just torn the rest of it out It's just one less thing to worry about um, We've also noticed that some of the wires go um, Are going underneath the bus and we've actually we've actually got access to some of them But we've realized that to get to them properly. We need to get inside um, so we've started pulling this panel out and um, We've donned as masks and as goggles Because uh, we're about to pull this insulation out just to give us a better look at what we can and can't see if we need to find out more, we're going to take the top panel out as well and go from there. We did some work in here. It doesn't look like too much, but it was actually a good amount. We had shelves that were um, all up here. So we removed that. We removed the pole that was up here for the closet. We also got rid of wood panel after wood panel and insulation on that wall. And the good news is that we can then access these wires super easy, which was the entire point in doing that. We fixed the wire issue we were talking about, and then you gave me two choices. Two choices, yep. So we can either now test the rear lights, put a new fuse in and see if we fix the issue that we had with it blowing the fuses before. Okay. Or we can run a live wire from this reverse light under the bus to the other reverse light to kind of like jerry-rig the other side to get that working. And I said no, basically. <laughs> we don't have time for that right now. I just want to know, fuses are relatively inexpensive. Let's yeah, just see if it works with We can keep popping fuse. through fuses all the time. Yep. So. so are you ready to test it with the fuse? Yep. Let's go. Okay. So it was rear run lights. Okay. So he's definitely dead. Okay. Get my new sweet little fuse box thing. Oh, mercy. Okay, so we decided to sit different. So we'll pop a new one in. Good. Pop's probably not a good word when talking about music. <laughs> it's okay. Put that in. I so hope this works. <laughs> Just want something good to happen with the exterior lights. Okay, so the headlights are on. I didn't hear the fuse pop. Okay, so that they're, they're all working. <laughs> right, oh I'm my god. Okay, I'm so happy. <laughs> so brakes? Yeah. They're really bright too. Right, indicator, driver's side. Yep. Woo! Indicator driver's side, yep. Uh driver's uh, passenger side indicator. That's perfect. <laughs> that is 
Amazing. We were about to leave and pack up when someone said to me, there's actually an easy, fast solution to determine if we can fix all of the rear reverse lights. And I said, well, why didn't we try it? So what did we just do? So the lights that were added, added by someone earlier in the Cortez's life for the uh, what we think was a towing hitch, there was a cable from the rear brake lights and the rear lights down to the middle that joined. It was two cables, but they were joined. So all we've done is we've disconnected them from the, the brake and rear light system. And then we've all we've basically done is literally hitch them to the reverse light system, taking a life from this end of the bus to that end of the bus. And now we're going to see if it works. Okay. It's a proper bodge. I, I'm, I'm into it. And again, we plan to fix all of the um, electrical system to rewire the entire Cortez. But right now, we just need it running enough to get other repairs done, like repairs to our windshield, um, and just have time to do that. And that's because we told my aunt and uncle we wouldn't be at the farm also forever, that we would be here basically long enough to get a state inspection. So we'll see if they're nice enough to let us stay. Will you be nice enough to let us stay here longer? That's to them. <laughs> okay, so we'll see. Ready to test, Andrew? Okay, yeah. So it's in reverse. I'm not going to fire it up. I'm just going to put the ignition on. Yeah. And that should be it. Okay. <laughs> Go on then. Mm. That's on. <gasps> what? No, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. Why do you think that is? Because it's. Well, I can't say it on. YouTube. I don't know <laughs> why you no work. Okay. <laughs> okay, so that didn't fix it. It didn't fix it, so we'll be out here again. I mean, we already knew we would, but we were just hoping that this little quick fix would have worked, and it, it didn't. Did. So. <laughs> <laughs> For another day. Bye. Guys. I'm so excited. I was packing up because of course we just ended the video on a really unhappy note, and then look, Andrew, step aside. <laughs> we have the working light! What did you do, Andrew? I'm so happy. <laughs> it's a secret. Oh my god, I'm so happy. I just cut some more wire out and joined it together and crimped it all together. What? Just wiped myself with a screwdriver a bit. <laughs> 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 Except for the top front clearance lights. Front clearance lights. And we're just waiting to get different. What do you call them? We need bases? like new bulb holders. The old ones are like rotten away. So. <laughs> this is <Budged> great. it. <laughs> I'm excited. <laughs> so, anyways, we I've just wanted to. Got to work on my bring... high five face. Okay, let's do it again. Okay. <laughs> So anyways, we just wanted to do another quick video um, because we are so close to being done with the exterior lights. Oh, I'm so happy. Do you remember where I put the cover for the lens? Because <laughs> I don't. We'll find it. Okay, we'll see you again for the top little clearance lights. But yeah. that's a great night. That's it. <laughs> We wanted to continue this. I wanted to continue this because I just wanted to show you guys. Oh, ooh. <laughs> this is the last, isn't this true? The last remaining one that we happened to find last minute after <laughs> I broke the other one. Um, so we will delicately place it back into where it belongs and hope it can remain in the Museum of Cortez Artifacts. The Museum of Cortez? Is this the Museum of Cortez? <laughs> so I just wanted to show you, all hope is not lost. We have tons of hope right now. I have tons of hope right now. I'm so full of hope. I'm like <gasps> Superman. I swear if you break that. <laughs> okay. It's time to go.
We've been outside and at the back of the bus investigating the rear clearance lights up there um, and unfortunately it looks like there's not that much spare wire in there to actually get a, get a hold of to reattach some new wire to once we've refurbished the holders which is why you find us inside the bus. So we are now planning to pull out more of the interior, um, primarily like a little bit of the portion of the ceiling above where these rear clearance lights are. Um, and that's just so that we have more access to the wires. Yep, hopefully we can get in there and then we can get the clearance lights removed, refurbish them, rewire them while we're doing it. Yep, so let's get started. today is going to be our last day working on our exterior lights so since we've cut them the clearance lights what have you done so we've removed the rust off the outside of the metal frames we've also treated any internal rust within the holder itself we fitted a new wire and um, fitment for the positive for the new bulb we fit a new bulb We've also painted the housing as well and given the glass lenses a quick polish to make them shiny new awesome so now we're going to install them and see if they work let's go Refurbished clearance light refitted. Uh, I think we'll get a test. What yeah, about you? definitely. Let's do it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Woo! <laughs> yeah, I'm ready. Woo! It's on! It's on! Yay! After all of those steps, we are finally done with the exterior lights and I am so excited. I'm super happy about that. It was so much work, but uh, <laughs> yeah, relieved, happy it's done. Um, so on to the next project, I think. So as always, guys, thanks for stopping by and watching our video. If you enjoyed it, please do like it. It would mean the world to us. Uh, also subscribe uh, to our channel if you would. Uh, you can get updates on, on our new projects and the work we're completing on our Cortez. And also check us out on our blog and our Instagram page, All at Soul of Seeker. So, thanks, thanks for guys. coming out. Bye, guys. Bye. When we were laughing, it was fun, fun, fun. Oh, it was fun. Alternated, completed, fully up and running. Now got plenty of duties okay. for the lights. <laughs> okay, okay. So we can get back to trying to fix the exterior lights that don't work. <laughs> you forgot your lines, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. Today's mission is to figure out why the rear, rear, rear reverse, rear, 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 the rear reverse lights aren't working. Um, we know that there's some power getting to them intermittently, but we don't know why they don't work all the time. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, and the last time we were out, are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> okay, give it three seconds and then I'm going to talk, so be normal. For real. I'm trying.
That must not be normal. Fuck's sake. <laughs> Last time when we were out here, we had a problem with the Cortez starting. Um, we've since discovered what that was. It was the alternator, and so we've replaced it. We'll have more in a blog post, also video on it, but that replacement means that we can now test the lights and hopefully fix the lights. So we're still on the electrical. That was quite a big still... bug. <laughs> Andrew, we're still on the electrical lights outside. Yep, so we've still not got the rear reverse lights working. Um, <laughs> what? Like a giant fucking moth landed on my leg and I brushed it off and I didn't scream and everything and then... I gave so I just keep going. No, you fucked it. The last time that we were out here... I'm gonna start it again we'll stay at the same Okay, you've got something on your face. Thank you. <laughs> Come on. We can do this. We can manage this. Have you got that GoPro just sat there like wasting no, budget? It's not on. Oh my god, I keep doing it. Okay, I'm ready. <laughs> no. Okay, I'm ready. Yeah? Give me a second, give me a second. Oh wait, we've been recording that entire time. <laughs> you were supposed to introduce it. I am, I'm building up to it. Okay, but this is too long now for me to edit. Well, of course it isn't, you can just chop 10 seconds out of it. I don't want to. Okay. The reason why the passenger side wasn't working is because somebody, somebody somewhere in time had, had cut the lights. It wasn't us. Cut but the anyway, wires. Cut the wire. Yeah, that's what I meant. <laughs> hey, sweet. It's not the end of the world. Ready? Yeah. So. He's... Oh, sorry. Okay. I was just about to ask you, are you starting or am I? I guess I'll start. Okay. You count three and then start. Shh. Okay. <sighs> Professional. Shh. Can I have three moments? <laughs> I don't know why he told us to read all of a sudden. <laughs> you need a book to learn how to continue because you are crap at YouTube videos. It's basically what it told us. It was like a... Okay, give me three seconds. Seriously, in your head, give it five. I swear to God, I don't think you're in shot. Just stay there. Oh my God. No, because you're nervous. I Oh, look, I am. <laughs> Spit on you. Ow! It's because someone's like getting them all like pumped up to go hunting. Camera around here? You don't have it. Body? And your body? Yes. The sexy okay, body. Okay, and. You got that chase on your face. Okay, get it off. Oh, it was a bug. <laughs> <laughs> it actually flew off as I tried to touch it. <laughs> Serious game face. Professional. Oscars. So what we are planning to do is pull a little bit more of um, our exterior. So we're mainly interior. Oh shit! Uh... <laughs> Let's do it again. Yours, yours was beautiful. I know I'm it sorry was. Sorry, you have to redo it. That was great.